Hey YouTube, it's Ashley3G and I'm here with the Inner Deals mini mic as well as this wood and chrome effect case, which I'll get to second. But starting off with the mini mic, the mini mic comes in this little capsule type device and what you do is you pop one end of it off and sit it to the side. And then what I used it for um, primarily is for the iPhone. So I just plug it into the top here. And as you can see, you can bend it forwards, you can bend it backwards, just depending on how you need to use it. You can turn it sideways and bend it that way. So it's really flexible. Let me tell you what I use it for. Um, in class, I would use my iPod, or actually my iPhone 3GS, and I would use the little voice memo app on it. So click voice memo. And then I would just hit record and have this laying on my desk like that so I could record a whole lecture. What I actually did to test the quality was I went into the voice memo app and I recorded two voice samples one without using the mini mic and one with using the mini mic so I'm just gonna play a sample for you I'm not sure if this one will be the stock iPhone recording or if it will be with the mini mic but the recording will tell you which is which so here we go for the first one this is Ashley 3G and this is just a test of the microphone that comes stock on the iPhone 3GS. This is just a test on the microphone that comes stock with the iPhone 3GS. Okay, so that was a sample recording just using the iPhone itself. And now obviously the second recording will be using this cute little mini mic. So let's go ahead and listen to that one. This is Ashley 3G again. Now this is a test of the IntraDeals microphone. This is a test of the IntraDeals mini microphone. Okay, so I hope that came through on camera because that was significantly louder than just the stock mic. And that's really all I want to say about this. I wasn't really sure what use I would have for it. But since it does pick up so much better on the iPhone, I would definitely use it for recordings in class. If you record music, you know, like to remind yourself to download a song later. If you record notes for yourself, this is a handy little device because it really does pick up what the iPhone doesn't pick up by itself. So again, this is the mini mic from Interdeals, and I'll put a link in the sidebar so you can check these out. They're not very expensive at all. You can get them from Interdeals, and again, I'll put that link in the sidebar. So now on to this wood and chrome effects case. Um, I got a lot of comments on the video as well as in my personal life about how great this case looks. I've got quite a few fingerprints on it right now. But yeah, it's really cool because, like I said, it's a wood and chrome effect case, which is a combination that you wouldn't really think of very often. Like, it's not really a common combo, but it looks really, really nice. And I did get quite a few compliments, like I said, in my personal life as well as on YouTube. I didn't know if I was going to like the case, to be honest, at first. Simply because the edges, especially when you get to the corner right here, they're really, really sharp. And as you know, that is the exact area on the phone that has that nice shiny chrome bezel. And I really, really did not want to scratch that up. And I think the first time I put it on, I got a couple little uh, minor scratches. I can't be positive if it was from this case, but I'm pretty sure it was. Um, but, you know, I'm not too bummed out about that. I knew it would eventually happen with me taking on, taking... What am I trying to say? Putting on and taking the cases off of my iPhone, I knew it would eventually happen. But um, after I got over that, I kind of developed a strategy of how to put it on to minimize the scratching. But again, if you're someone who is like really, really looking out for your phone and not want any kind of scratches of any kind, you know, maybe stay away from this one. But if you're like me and you know that that kind of stuff is going to happen, um, you can use the bezel blaster to clean it off, you know, really. But just a little warning. Um, I'm not too upset about it, like I said, but what I do is I, of course, put the volume rocker and the little vibrate switch in first. And then I kind of try to manipulate the case, like pull it out. You, you can't tell what I'm doing, but I'm just pulling on the case and then putting it on. I still feel like I scratched it again just now, but, you know, whatever. So I put it on like that, being just really, really careful and minimizing the amount of scraping that's going to go on. So you have something that looks like this. It's kind of like a fake Capsule Neo type thing, but, you know, Switch Easy doesn't make one that looks quite like this. So it has its own little style going on. But what you're going to want to do next is put the second plate on. And I'm just going to start on the bottom there. So I put the, the lip on the bottom there and then kind of line it up. And again, I'm just going to really tug at this so as not to scrape the top of my iPhone by just pushing it down. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just pulling and pushing 
All right, and so you still get that scary sound like you're cracking something. I hate that sound, but after you're all done being anal and scared, you get something that looks like this. And you know what? That looks really, really nice. Like I said before, I'm all into looks, and this accessory definitely delivers. Once it's on there, you're really not worrying about anything. It has a nice little lip, so you can lay it on the table. All your buttons are easy to access. I will say that this on-off switch is a little bit deeper down than a lot of the cases that I have. So you kind of have to work to get in there. But, you know, use the tip of your finger and it should be fine. Then you got your headphone right there. Perfect cutout, as you can see. And the camera cutout is absolutely beautiful. That's something that I really look for because it kind of goes along with the whole look of the case. If you have a good camera cutout, that's always nice. But, yeah, this is the... Um, my review and my take on this Inner Deals Chrome and Wood Effects case, as well as this awesome little mini mic. If you use that voice memo app on your iPhone, you need to try this out seriously. It really picks up some stuff that the iPhone does not pick up by itself. Again, this was Ashley 3G with my little take on the case and the microphone. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep watching.